What's up guys, it's Liberty Dog up here at Kaz vs Wild 3 and today we're making an in-ground survival oven. Um, basically what it is, it's 18 inches diameter by 36 inches deep and put your fire down at the bottom. We're going to put a chicken on a stick across the top of the hole, cover it with thatch and see what happens. Hey YouTube, Peter Vercaz here. Hey, while Liberty Dog 77 is working on the apparatus of the oven, this is going to be the cross member or the spit that's going to hold the chicken in the middle here. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it while it's cooking in the oven. Now we're going to cook it for about two hours and we're going to see where we're at. But right now we're still in preparation for getting it ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off this maple branch and we're going to use this, it's going to be good and sturdy, it's almost two inches in diameter, and that's going to be great. Alright YouTube, this is pretty much what the fire is going to look like. As you can see, Livery Dog has done a great job digging the hole here. That's going to become our oven, and this is the cross member that's going to hold the chicken on the spit as we turn it as well. So we're going to get the fire going next, and we're going to spice up the chicken a little bit. When we get the things going, we'll be back to show you how we're doing. Hey YouTube, here's our chicken as it is shown through the spit and this is what it's going to be turned upon as we have our fire going which uh, Liberty Dog 77 is working on right now and uh, he's doing a great job on that so uh, when this is over the fire I'll show it to you then Alright YouTube, this is our uh, oven that we got going right now and uh, you can see we got a good fire burning down inside there Pretty soon we'll be putting the chicken on here. We're going to let it roast for at least two hours. We're going to turn it as we go. And we're going to see what's going to happen. We'll see if we have dinner or disaster. It'll be one or the other. Here we have our chicken here on our uh, oven here. And we got a good flame down in there. It's pretty hot. And uh, doing pretty good so far. We'll see how it is in a little bit. Just to show you what it is that we're using, we're using these branches cut up in about uh, two or three inch pieces. And as you can see in, re in reference size to my hand, okay, they're not really that big. And we're using these wood chips as well. And the reason why we're doing it this way is that it gives us maximum heat with minimum flame. We don't necessarily want to cook the chicken with a high flame, but we, we want to have a high heat to make sure that we bake the chicken well. And as you can see, we do have flame in there, but it's not a very big flame. It's a very controlled flame with a lot of heat. Tell me, how hot's that fire? Hot. Is it cooking the chicken well? Cook your hand well if you stick it down in there. Yeah? How do you think the chicken's doing? I'd say a third of the way done. Cool. Alright YouTube, here's our chicken here. It's been cooking well for two hours now and uh, we're going to pull it off and see what we got. Here we have our chicken here. It is really good. It's cooked all the way through. It smells great. We're going to have a great meal. Talk to you later. We're hungry. There you go, dude. All right, man. That looks great. 